Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you are not. If you watched last week, you'll see that the third story or the loft is now all fully plastered, uh, completely done, looking great. And about half of the first floor is done. So this room that we've been in for six months is obviously done. The study or what will be the study is done and about half of the hallway. So we're almost there on the first floor. We're definitely there in the loft room. And so now the absolute priority is to move upstairs as quickly as we can. But as with everything in this renovation, there is a chain of command or a, a chain of events rather that needs to be meticulously followed for anything to get done. So if you saw our last video, the Q&A, you'll know that uh, we talk a lot about things taking ages or certain things needing to be done before the next thing can be done and that being the most frustrating or overwhelming part of the renovation. And so now is another good example of that, but let me break it down for you. So we want to move upstairs, but there's no point putting all the furniture upstairs, setting up our bed, doing the wardrobes, if we're just going to have to move them when the carpets go down. So the priority is for the carpets to go down. However, and this is something I learned incredibly recently, if you're doing laminate or oak or kind of wood flooring, you need to put the flooring down and then the skirting boards. But if you're doing carpets, you need to do it the opposite way around. So your skirting goes down first and then your carpets go down. So obviously the next thing we need to do is the skirting. However, in order to get your skirting down, all of your flooring, your hard flooring has to be down. So our chipboard basically needs to be laid. So we need to lay chipboard. But in order to lay the chipboard, we need to do all the lighting of the floor below. Now that is fine for every part of the house except the first floor bathroom. Now the first floor bathroom is below the dressing room and so the chipboard in the dressing room can only be lay or screwed in when the bathroom lights are in. So then we need to do the bathroom lights. And then, and then, just when you thought the fun <laughs> had stopped, we need to do the lights in the bathroom, but we can't do the lights in the bathroom because we decided to make the bathroom the storage room. And when I say storage room, mine and Tom's organizational ability uh, is non-existent. So it's kind of a mess right now. So yeah, we can't really get into the electrics when there's <laughs> no walkway whatsoever. So Tom has got a whole lot of these kind of ex Tesco delivery boxes and we're gonna do a fair bit of organizing. We're gonna get everything to where it needs to go, add some labels and what's in there. And then what's so great about these boxes is that they're stackable and at the same time, you can kind of see what's inside them. So some very, very basic organization, but hopefully that'll get us somewhere. This is plumbing. Yeah, yeah, I'll take the plumbing. So where's all the screws, in there? Uh, there's a few boxes in there, there's some. What it means is that the white frame around the window, which I used to love, is now just kind of getting washed out and I kind of want to paint it black. It might be a great idea, it might be a terrible idea, but I won't know until I try. I said in the last video that I'm realizing I really like white walls. I think it's very calming and clean and easy and nice. And so I definitely want to keep the walls white, but I do want this frame to pop. And so he picked up some black paint this is just Wix Trade interior wood paint in satin wood, which I think is half matte, half glass. It's not too shiny, but not too matte either. And I think I'm just gonna give it a go. I'm just gonna start by giving the whole thing a wipe down. This room's been pretty dusty and pretty dirty for a pretty long time. So giving it a clean is probably a good first start. The window is also in pretty poor condition. So I'm hoping that the black paint will help hide the sins um, of a window that's been sat there for over a hundred years. Just using the same sort of roller that I did for all of the doors upstairs. I'm not sure if this is oil-based, solvent-based, so not oil-based, but the size of this is really good for small spaces and little corners, so I think it should be good. Good 
fixing we're not uh, restoring our floorboards. It's looking very dark. <laughs> and now we paint. So as you can probably see behind me, we are painting the hallways, which is a massive job. There's just so much wall <laughs> and uh, it's boring. It's very boring. So we're trying to come up with innovative ways of uh, not getting bored. We've listened to just about every song Spotify has, I would bet. So now we're going to watch TV instead, but because we can't actually watch the TV, We've got to pick something where we know all the characters' voices and pretty much all of the dialogue. So naturally, the only thing to watch is The Office. Settling and settled. retinol for like two days total and I'm convinced I look younger <laughs> anyway I wanted to show you the reality of uh, living working eating in a room uh, because I feel like whenever I film in this room it's suspiciously clean and this is what it looks like currently so I'm just gonna kick off the weekend right by doing a little bit of a cleanup as to not live in a pit um, so we'll get to that now So just 15 minutes later and already feeling so much better. As you can see the desk that was over there, we put the screen and the tablecloth slash towel down there and just the other desk over there over the weekend just so, you know, this whole room isn't cramped and we've got a bit of space. <laughs> As you can see, we keep a green chef box to uh, put our work bags into just because the floor is constantly dusty as well as kind of you know, the jumpers that we wear and then pick up again. And uh, this has had a little bit of a breakage, I would say. Uh, the whole thing collapsed and for some reason we can't get it to work again. So everything is piled up here and that is also why there's another box here just storing our clean towels and that sort of stuff. And then this is the things I paint with and I put it there between washers. This is what Tom wears when he's cold and this is what I'm wearing when I'm cold. So, Who are you yeah. talking to? Oh, <laughs> I forgot. Sorry. Get out of here. <laughs> so just that very, very small habit of cleaning up does just, oof, I'm in a much, much better mood. And now ready to work on the house. We've had our first renovation fail of the day. Oh. So we've ordered a smaller radiator than the radiator that was previously there. And in doing so, didn't realize when our house got plastered, or this room got plastered, to take off the brackets of the old wider radiator. So. Interested to see how we work this out. So what we're doing now is installing the new lights for the downstairs hallway. Um, up here we've gone for more spotlights, but I think downstairs we're keeping it more traditional. So we're having two lights, one when you first come in and then one um, just before the stairs. So we can just add a bit more character to the lights downstairs. The layout of our downstairs is that you walk straight through the front door and then straight up the stairs. There's no um, kind of side access to the kitchen like a lot of Victorian houses have so basically there's no light in the living room whatsoever So we want to add another light down there And then we also want the back bathroom door to always be open so that that back window can hopefully Stream some light downstairs also It helps that we are getting rid of the door to the living room completely so the light from the living room diner will also flow into the hallway um, Well, that's the plan at the moment anyway so the light currently is slightly off centre and um, what I thought that was was due to the uh, joist running down the middle but what we're going to do is, or what we have done, is angled the drill this way so I can thread the through there and then miss the joist Oh so we'll nice press it in the middle here and then yeah we've got another one that's just going there and the reason we wanted to keep with more traditional lights is you can just add a bit more character to it like with the lamp shades and stuff that's what we did in our um, old 
rental house as well. And it's just nicer than spotlights everywhere. You see it? Oh, the other way. Go the other way, go back again. I pull it out a bit. Or I twist it round now. Oh, that way? Yeah, keep twisting it. Now I pull it out again. Uh, no, turn back there. Right, now twist it round. No, twist it the other way. Twist it more. That's it, there. No, twist it a little bit more. That way, yeah. Right, now push. Right, all turn. Yep. Keep pushing, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so now that's all done, we'll basically end up hanging a light there, another light there, and our fire alarm over there. And this will just get plastered over. So laying down chalkboard is one of the more fun tasks I find when doing a renovation. Um, but I'm filming this moment, you've seen loads of videos of us laying chipboard, so I don't want to bore you too much, but we're on our final piece on the loft conversion. So that's another massive milestone ticked off. There you have it. The final chipboard has been laid. So I went out last night, managed to um, spill red wine all over my top and then proceeded to come home, not even drunk, and go to bed in it instead of washing it. My friend who did the exact same thing sent me a picture this morning of his pristine white top, which he also spilled red wine on and put in the wash. So these are the moments that even though we're doing a renovation, I'm still a child. It's a Sunday, so I'm just getting everything that we are going to want for food next week together. And we usually do a big shop on a Sunday or we do an online order for it to come on Monday, but it's a beautiful day outside and I fancy a walk. So I think I'm gonna walk over to the big Morrisons. We are getting Green Chef this week. We've got three meals coming, each meal's for four people. So we've got six meals total. We've got a harissa and zug cauliflower, halloumi and pomegranate salad, and Hasselback potatoes in a spicy tomato sauce. I'm probably gonna want to grab some extra protein for the harissa and zug cauliflower and for the Hasselback potatoes. I'm thinking veggie chicken for both would be good. Um, but yeah, I'll see what Morrison's have when we get there. Our local Morrison's admittedly doesn't have the best vegan meats range, um, but there is an Iceland down the road as well, which does the veggie chicken that I love so much. So I'll probably run in there as well. Still can't put my face in the sun, so I look a bit, I look a bit odd, but that's okay. Anyway, supermarket fit check. Our vegan street food business pig out. We just did a corporate event the other day, um, another corporate event, and they actually asked for small bites. So they wanted our hot dogs, but in kind of two to three bite portions. Um, so we were able to get our bakery. Um, there's a bakery in London that makes the buns for us. They're kind of a vegan brioche style. So obviously not brioche, but um, yeah, that kind of a hint of sweetener. And anyway, you don't care about the buns, but we basically had loads of these mini buns left over. And so I've made for lunch what I'm gonna call a McDonald's chicken burger. So we had all of these little mini leftover buns. So I made two of these just with some Hellman's vegan mayo, cucumber, tomato, spring onions, and then a fries chicken burger. I just, I just think this is the perfect uh, Sunday lunch after a night of a couple of gin and tonics. I also don't think I really showed you the uh, finished product of all of our painting, but it's so light and bright and uh, yeah, looking beautiful. Lovely day too. The dressing room is also all good to go. Very exciting is that we'll be installing all of our wardrobes in here. We're also just here going to cut a little bit out the wardrobe in the side and this will be attached to a plug here. We're very close to putting a wire in the plug hole there, uh, but that will basically be attached to a plug so that 
We can have LED lighting that we can switch on at any time around there, which should be really cool. Window also looking very fine. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that as a week's work. The rest of the evening is definitely just gonna be spent reading, chilling out, eating a curry, and potentially not getting to painting those last bits I was meant to, but maybe I will. I probably won't, but maybe I will. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this week's video. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have liked uh, the video, please do exactly that and give it a like. And if you're just tuning in and you'd like to see more, or if you've been following for a while and you've not yet hit subscribe, please do. We put out videos every single Wednesday. It's getting to the good bits now, the finishing touches, the painting, the decorating, or at least what I consider to be the good bits. And there's plenty of building still to do as we approach the kitchen downstairs in a few weeks. We've uh, ordered our back doors. I'm showing you them next week. They're not coming next week, but I'm showing you the, uh, the ones that we've ordered. Um, they take eight weeks to come. So yeah, approaching the new year, full swing in the kitchen, my most looked forward to room in the house, which should be really good. Anyway, that is it for this week. Thank you as always for watching and I'll catch you next Wednesday. Goodbye.